So for the most part, I get to noodle about and make music. And what I've managed to build up is a system where I essentially get paid for the process of producing and making music, whether or not that's using particular tools, producing the music for an end result, being sponsored by somebody to make a piece of music for them or with their product or whatever it is. I've built up a business where I get to produce music, usually for me, in whatever style I want and make a living from that. This is a really simple thing that I do and I'll show you how it works now. What you need to do is provide something of value for somebody else with the skill set you've got. And then we can upload those things and essentially give a shortcut or a benefit to that individual. Very simply, in the link below all my videos, there will be a link to a free sample pack. You can jump onto the Warrior Sound website from that link and download it directly from the store. There's no cost involved in that. It gives a very simple value proposition of you put in an email, you get to download a free sample pack. Simple. But what are some of the simple things that you can do? Some great examples of digital products you can put together as a music producer that have value, quite simply, you could copy the kind of project template thing that I've been doing and provide the course or video option of exactly how you created it if you want as a nice selling point. Equally, you could just run ads to it for people looking for those particular types of templates. Sample packs are a good option. However, remember there's many competing options out there nowadays like Splice and Loop Cloud, where people can download just the individual samples they want for a few credits. So it's gonna be very competitive on the price point that you want to do that at. But you'll see on Warrior Sound, I do still have the Soulful Drum and Bass sample pack on there, which does sell every now and then. And you can obviously get a free taster of it by downloading the free pack, which absolutely helps in that aspect of things. If you're a singer, you could put together a cappella packs or a dedicated a cappella, for example. Here's an idea. If you're a singer or a rapper, you could put together a 16 bar verse set the key, set the tempo, and make it so that could only ever be purchased one. It's just an option you could do. Another thing, if you're going down that kind of route, you could also sell your mixing templates for your vocal to sound like a particular artist. A friend of mine does this and he'll sing and recreate the sound for a particular artist or singer, and you can get a sample pack of his vocals with the effects and everything all lined up so it instantly sounds like it's Drake or whoever else singing it. It's a good option, it brings value, it saves loads of time for the person who wants to achieve that result. So how do we then make money with this? Well, we'll provide things that have a monetary value to somebody to download. And if you jump onto Warrior Sound, some pretty simple and obvious examples are there for you, as in entire project templates that are mixed, produced, include vocals, and come with a completely free course that you can then watch here on YouTube. You could sit and watch the entire higher course all the way through if you so wanted to and never have to download the project. But anyone who's going through that course and is enjoying it and following it along, they generally are gonna go and buy the project to go with it. It provides value to them. They can actually see how it was made, listen through it and then modify it themselves. I use Squarespace to do this. I'm just gonna show you now how that whole e-commerce side of things would work. And we'll jump onto my website and show you how we would add a product like that to be made and sold. What we can see on screen under recent orders is personal data, which is why that is blurred out. Now, what we really need to do is jump into the store and have a look at adding a product and what we could go about doing that. So let's go back to home and a couple of ways we can get to the store. I can just click on store up here and it's gonna open up for us. And you'll see all the products that are in here. If I want to edit it, we can edit the individual products or go up here for manage products and add product. Uh, let's hit manage products, see if we've got anything hidden we can maybe add. Of course there's nothing hidden, but what we'll do, we'll just have a look at making a new product to go in here. So if we were to hit the little plus icon at the top here, we need to choose what type it's gonna be. We're gonna do digital download in this case. And for now, I'm just 
just going to call this example and in here we're going to put description example as well what i like to put in the description is exactly what you're getting so you know if it's a logic template it's a logic project it's in this key this is the bpm it includes all the samples or recordings etc and things like that. and you can add additional info as well if you like and write it in here i'll often embed a video in here like an install video or a troubleshooting video just as an extra bit of help and we need to add some images if we just go into here and we'll upload file what we'll do let's go in thumbs and let's go do better what we do we'll put the do better cover in here uh, have that as our image option let's rename it do better stem pack you know as if we're offering uh, the stems from a track as a download option so someone could then work with them or remix them example so we could say do better stem pack contains one drum track two int tracks blah blah and we'd go 174 bpm a sharp minor i actually don't remember the chord but it's just useful information and contains what's in there and then we've got an image to go with it an infantry we need to add a file so add an imaginary file now say you've got something like a stem pack that you wanted to put in there we're just going to put the artwork in here again because we're making this up you'd need to make sure it's a zip file and put all of those individual files into one zip container and upload that in there. Can then set a price. So let's say it's gonna be 10 pound. And we can also set an on sale price. If we switch it onto on sale, we could make it five pound. And then it'll have a little sale icon automatically when someone goes and visits the store. Now it's got search categories. I've got artwork, FL tools, logic tools, and samples. And pop it in samples. We could make a new one and call it stems, for example. So we could do create new here and make a stems one. And then we can add any tags to it that could be relevant. And then we've got the visibility side of things. So is it a featured product? Do you want it to be right up at the start? I'll show you something else we can do in just a second. Related products is really nice. So if it's in say the samples thing, when someone views this, it will show any sample packs that go with it at the same time. And if you've got a commerce plan, you have the product reviews on there as well. And you manage that in the commerce option and people can leave a review on it. And then SEO, what do you want your, essentially your URL and things to be and custom checkout button and custom forms. Now custom forms can be really important. Let's say, for example, you're leasing a beat or these stems can't just be reproduced and sent out as the track it originally was. You can put a form in front just to say, hey, you're acknowledging that you can't just redistribute this song as it is once you've downloaded it, or you can't just resell this beat on or whatever it is. You know, no form required most of the time, but you can add certain things in like understanding license agreement. And you can see there's a lease agreement in there uh, back from the days when this was Warrior Sound Beats, which I shut down in what? I don't know, 2018, I think. Um, there, yeah, the lease agreement's still in there. I've got educational content video agreement, tutor booking agreements, for example. So I can just choose which form will pop up and say, hey, you're acknowledging this information before you download this product. And from there, that's all we really need to do. Uh, so we can just cancel that, discard. So I could save this publish it or schedule it. For now, we're just gonna save it. I don't actually want to publish this. And once we've done that, it will be down here. You see it says hidden. Now here you can just select it and replace it wherever you want it to go. And once it's live, it will sit in that position in your store. And very simply in my case, uh, you can see Classic Liquid is the first one here. It's because it's the most sold thing. You know, I, it's up there as the first one. People come here for that, they pick that up. That's why my store is in the order that it's in. Actually, Vocal DMB could probably move up and sit sort of there as well. And then you'll see in real time, it rearranges that. And if you want to have a little navigate around the site and get an idea for how I do this, well, hit the link below the video and then you'll be able to see exactly how the store looks and functions and what you could maybe do with this for yourself. All of these things are possible to put together as digital products and sell them in the way that I've just shown. And I personally use Squarespace for, well, these eight reasons here. So you can learn a little bit more about why I think it's such a great platform to work on, especially for this kind of option. I hope this video has been helpful for you and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care.